India is preparing to test a slew of indigenously developed advanced weapons ranging from air-to-air -air missiles and anti-radiation missiles to smart anti-airfield weapons and long-range glide bombs. Air-to-air -air missiles, Astra missile series. Astra are India's fifth generation beyond visual range active radar homing air-to-air -air missile series. It is the first air-to-air -air missile developed by India. Astra employs a smokeless solid-fueled motor capable of propelling the missile to a speed of Mach 4.5 and allowing operation from a maximum altitude of 20 kilometers. According to defense sources, at least three weapons, the Astra-1, 100 km range, and Astra-2, 160 km range, as well as the Rudram-1, NGARM, with a strike range of 150 km, will be tested this month. Following the successful completion of its user trials, the Astra-1, which is already in production by Defense, PSU, Bharat Dynamics, will be tested, for the first time, with an indigenous seeker, rather than the existing Russian missile seeker designer, Agat, the one from a Sukhoi jet. The integration of Astra-1, with the Tejas and MiG-29 fighters, is also concurrently underway. Then, the Astra-2 will make its first live launch from a Sukhoi 30 MKI fighter after completion of carriage and handling trials, as well as dummy drops. According to the sources, DRDO also plans to conduct the first test of Astra-3, which is based on the solid-fuel-based ducted ramjet SFDR propulsion to increase its range to 350 km by the end of this year. Astra is India's first beyond visual range BVR air-to-air -air missile indigenously designed and developed by Defence Research and Development Organisation. It is intended to engage and destroy aerial targets with high maneuverability and supersonic speeds. The missile's advanced air combat capabilities allow it to engage multiple high-performance targets. The Astra missile will serve the Indian Air Force and the Indian Navy. The missile will also be integrated with the Mirage 2000, multi-role combat fighters, Tejas light combat aircraft and MiG-29 and MiG-21 Bison fighter jet platforms as well as the Indian Navy's Sea Harrier jet fighter. The Indian government already ordered more than 288 Astra MKI missiles for the Air Force and the Navy. The Astra missile is highly agile, accurate and reliable missile, and features high single-shot kill probability. The all-weather, day and night capable, Astra series of missiles, will eventually replace the expensive Russian, French and Israeli, BVR air-to-air -air missiles that are currently imported to arm IAF fighters. Rudram-1, air-to-surface, anti-radiation missile. Another test will take place this month is of the Rudram-1, the next-generation anti-radiation missile. It is an air-to-surface anti-radiation missile with operational range of 250 km, which is designed to destroy a variety of enemy surveillance, communication, and radar targets on the ground at a range of 150 km after being launched from fighter jets. It is India's first indigenous anti-radiation missile, developed by the Defence Research and Development Organisation. Rudram missiles are designed to suppress enemy air defences from longer standoff ranges, allowing IAF strike aircraft to carry out their bombing missions without hindrance. DRDO is also developing the Rudram 2, 350 km range, and Rudram 3, 550 km range, air-to-ground missiles, which have INS GPS navigation and a passive homing head, for the final attack. Smart, anti-airfield weapon. Then, tests of smart, anti-airfield weapons, SAAW, which are precision-guided bombs. The weapon is designed to strike ground targets, especially adversary airfield infrastructure or similar strategically important installations and bunkers, aircraft hangars, radars and other reinforced structures at a range of 100 kilometers. These are 125 kg glide bombs that are carried on racks in fighters like Sukhois or Jaguars and are based on either satellite navigation or electro-optical imaging infrared seeker. 
A single Sukhoi can carry up to 32 of these bombs. Separately, 1,000 kg heavy caliber glide bombs with an 80 km range are also being developed. Last year, the smart weapon was successfully test fired from Indian Hawk MK 132 of HAL. SAAW is indigenously designed and developed by DRDO's Research Center Imarat, RCI Hyderabad. Its development began around 2012 and 2013, with crucial inputs from the Indian Air Force and the first test was carried out in 2016.